if you give me any topic right now, I'll do a pun on it. Put in pineapples and cocktails in a pun. Uh, I was working in a cocktail bar and uh, uh, somebody asked me for a drink, so uh, I started urinating into the sieve. And they were like, what are you doing? I was like, I thought you, I thought you wanted a pee in a colander. <laughs> no. That's it. Yeah, that's got pineapples and cocktails in it. <laughs> Thank you very much. All right. Thank you very much. Don't give up your day job. Surely it's time for the main course. His plucking brilliant chicken Thai curry with fragrant rice. That smells really nice. Time for Leo to find he's not the only funny person in the room. I went to Edinburgh Fringe last year. That was fun. Were you performing? Yeah. No way! No I'm way not as funny as you. Well, I don't have a naked poster with a pineapple <laughs> now, do I? You got that. <laughs> that is not like the threshold. You suddenly get like a naked poster with a pineapple and then like all of a sudden you're funny or something. No, I just went to see it because I wanted to see what it's like. And yeah, then, yeah. Uh, one so bar I was at had a free did... slot. So they just put me on stage. Right, yeah, yeah. And I said the first joke and then people laughed. I'm like, Cool. Amazing. You're laughing at the yeah. fringe. I'm not that drunk. I can say more stuff. <laughs> Bet you can. I need to stop talking so I can eat. So why don't I interrupt right. my verbal diarrhea and you talk and I listen okay. for once? <laughs> <laughs> OK, take to the floor, Leo. Name the craziest things you've ever done. Um, I did, uh, like, free diving through wrecks, which is just, it's, it's, it's like... It's just pretty stupid because if you get, if, you know, if you're scuba diving, then it's okay because you've got air. But if you're free diving and you get snagged on something mm. or you get caught or whatever, then you're sort of screwed. That's probably the stupidest thing I've like consciously done. <laughs> yeah, she looked very, very lean. Do you work out mm. or anything or go to the gym? Yeah, I'm kind of into running. Kind of gotten into running over the last few months. Yeah. So do you do you go to the gym or? Yes, I do. <laughs> <laughs> I love running as well, and that's just. It's, it's the adrenaline you get from running, mm -hmm. that's it. Yeah, definitely. They both like a lap or two. It's time to give that Mexican lasagna a run out. This is amazing. Would you like to help me with that? Oh my gosh, I don't even know where to begin. <laughs> Just get stuck in, Stephen. I'm Stephen Giorgio. I'm about to take down this lasagna and make an enormous mess on the table at the same time. And, of course, Stephen adds his own hefty helping of cheese. Amazing. <laughs> I can't believe you're 29. I'm 27. Do you like younger boys? Yeah, they have a good sense of humour. And... Really? Yeah. Is that what you go for yeah. when you go for a man? So if you look like Jabba the Hutt... Well, and just you like, know, you play the like, <laughs> And you're just like, oh, he's really funny. Really love him. <laughs> love Jabba, me and him, you know? Seriously. Yeah, no, it, 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 it's a bit of both just as long as they lay off the Irish accent. There is more to Ireland than this. <laughs> <laughs> OK. Thanks for the drink, Caroline. What is in it? Um, well, it's a berry daiquiri. Oh, yeah, that's really nice. What do you do for work? I'm actually retail manager for, like, um, a trade centre and decorators. What about yourself? What do you do? Um, I'm a business development manager. Does that mean with your job you, like, travel around? I do. So where do you travel to? Well, it's actually a global footprint. Oh, great. I really like to travel, actually. I've been to quite a few places, been to America quite a few times. Well, a shared passion for a global footprint is a good start, even if things are a little business-like. So, Caroline, what, what would you say your life's ambitions are? Um. I suppose what everyone wants really just to be successful and happy. What does success look like? Um, no matter what that is, like if you're happy, then you've got success, whether that's in your job, in your family, in your friends. Good answer. I like that. I'm glad. Could this candidate get shortlisted? Is this a date or a job interview? So are you hungry? I'm absolutely starving. I'm really looking forward to what's coming. Well, before they get stuck into her starter, what do they think of each other? First impression, Caroline, I think she's an absolutely gorgeous girl. At this stage of the evening, I'm keeping um, open towards the possibility of warming towards her. Not a bad appraisal, then. They asked me about what my uh, main ambition was, but they're not the normal, like, first date questions, really, are they? Actually, uh, I forgot to put the cocoa powder in the brownies. What? So I put the cocoa powder on the brownies. You've completely <laughs> let me down. Seems to be going down OK, though. And our comedy duo are back on their favourite subject. How much material have you got? Well, how Loads. Many, how Not many, as much as yours. Well, how many? How many? You've like... been on it for five years. I've been on it for like what nine months. Right. Yeah. Mm. But like, how how long can you do? 
I only know about 20 like, minutes. Something. 10 minutes. Right, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's been a while since Leo dropped a one liner. I was at the bar with my mate. I said, What do you want to drink? He said, A stout thanks. So I went, Thanks. So that's stout thanks. <laughs> Instead of like, Well done. Well done. I'm going to wipe my mouth because obviously. With dessert done, our comedian has one last trick up his sleeve to get Anu giggling. His Indonesian exploding Joss bombs. Mm. The, the bombs. The bombs. We're, we're doing these. These are the Indonesian bombs. Yeah, me and my mate were. Uh, awesome. they, they do them in the bars there. The key ingredient to this boozy treat is a powdered energy supplement. So, how do I have this? Do I have the powder first or the shot yeah. first? You have the powder first. You chuck the whole thing in your mouth. Really? And hold it for like a few seconds, then do the shot. Okay, right, tell me when. Do. No. <laughs> you like that? It's finally, it's finally stopped you talking. That's <laughs> I brought 600 of them back from Indonesia. <laughs> yeah, yeah. At last, something's left her loss for words. It's time for the funny man to take a bow. Dinner is done. Thank you, thank you so much. Great to meet you. you right over. I'll see you in the circuit sometime. Yeah, hopefully, cool. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Cheers. Cheerio. <laughs> Talk me through what yeah. this is. Okay, so this is beef bourguignon. Oh, beef bourguignon. Avec les legumes verts et les uh, pommes dauphinois. It looks fantastic. Oh la la. So Josephine speaks the language of love, but does Tim fancy a bit of French? Have you been to France much? No, absolutely not. <laughs> That's definitely a no then. I'm not saying that I'm never going to go. I'm yeah. saying that. At the moment, it doesn't quite have that appeal for me. Not on the agenda. No, mm -hmm. absolutely not. But there's a bit of tension between the British and the French, isn't there? Yeah. And I'm quite nationalistic, so... OK, fair enough. Forget that weekend in Paris. So you enjoy your job, then? Well, I enjoy my current job because I've been very successful at it. I have absolutely no idea what my new job has got in store for yeah, me. So what, how's that all come about? Well, I guess a victim of my own success, really. So I'm an innovator at the minute. No idea what he's on about either. It's all great to me. The final destination is Italy with the black cherry affogato. An affogato. Dark chocolate, dark cherries. Great. Premium vanilla ice cream and some espresso on top. Premium vanilla ice cream. Nothing but the best. Right, here we go. So you, you do like coffee, though? Uh no, I don't. You don't like coffee? I, def I don't like coffee. But it's floating in coffee. I know it's floating in coffee, <laughs> um, but I'm being polite. And you chose the menu. And I'm going to eat as much as what I can do. Mm. I've, I've never drank tea or coffee, ever. So this is new to me. Actually, why don't we do something really cool? OK. Cheers. <laughs> Cheers. Cheers to <laughs> cheesecake in a glass. This is amazing. Another course, another success. But brace yourselves, Stephen has a revelation to make. Do you want me to shock you? Go really? on. Can you handle it? Go Are on. Are you sitting comfortably? I'm prepared. It's the first time I've ever tried a blueberry in my entire life. No way. Are you serious? In my entire life, I've You've never You've never had tried... a blueberry? Caroline, honestly, thank you so much. You're very I... welcome. Thank you for... Uh, have coming. I been a good guest? You've good... been a perfect guest. Really? Even yes. with the Irish accent? <laughs> Even with the Irish accent. <laughs> this day has proved to me there's more to Ireland <laughs> than this. So there we go. <laughs> there we go. Mm. Best get your coat now, Stephen. Oh, thanks for coming. I hope you are stuffed. Thank you so much for having me. <laughs> Food was amazing. I'm glad you enjoyed so it. So are you. Mwah. Mwah. Take care. See All you right. later. <laughs>